<laughs> you run into something or what? <laughs> Call this meeting to order. <laughs> and this is what I'm on just reminding you that it's on. <laughs> Determining that there's a quorum. Commissioner Wardlaw, Commissioner Vasquez, Commissioner Nettleton is traveling right now, and but Commissioner uh, Flores is here and myself. We have a quorum. Uh, reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, Commissioner Wardlaw, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> and real quick, before we get into anything else, uh, y'all don't mind have a moment of silence and prayer for the individuals in, in Gilroy, California, El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio, in the shootings. And please have a moment of silence. Thank you. Item number four, approving minutes from the previous meeting. There is minutes. I need a motion. Move. Motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. Second. Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 5-0 vote. Before we get into citizens' comments, we had approved. Four. Two. Four. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm so used to saying five. Thank you. Uh, before we get into citizens' comments, we'd approved last meeting uh, a check for $5,000 from uh, Texas Community Bank for, uh, for the battered woman shelter. If you want to come up and present us with the check, and we'll get a quick picture. Edgar, if you'll come up also, please, you have your Edgar, Roy. They're both right there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, I'm okay. You sure? Good. 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 I look funny there when I see Chaparrillo. You know, home is going to home. You don't have to do that. What's wrong with that? All right, on the count of three. One, two. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're very pleased to, to be able to present that to you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. 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 And Roy, thank you for all your work. Appreciate it. We have one citizen's comment. Ms. Hilkins? Thank you. I love you. You sure? Still look up for me next time. Thank you. <laughs> Is that a warning? I mean, are we okay? <laughs> thank you, ma'am. All right, item six. A public hearing regarding the replat of Block H, Lakewood Estate Subdivision, in order to establish lots one and two. Ma'am? Anybody here for answer? We are calling the public hearing at uh, 9.06. Go ahead. Closed. Hearing closed. Thank you. 9.06 and change. <laughs> All right. Subdivision flat. Yeah. Go leave. This is the subdivision for the public the plat for the public hearing. It's the replat of um, establishing lots one and two Dollar General ninety West subdivision out of lot six block H Lake Ridge Estate. The it was approved. Yes. 
Th does this comply with the, the subdivision model rules? Yes, sir. It does? Yes, sir. Okay. And the <coughs> non-stop zoning approved it contingent upon there being a driveway plat? Uh, permit. Permit, I'm sorry. And, and there is. There is. A motion to approve. Second. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four, zero vote. Aye. Certificates of compliance? None, sir. Monthly report by elected officials. I have a motion to approve. Motion to approve. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Second by Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. 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 Four, zero vote. <laughs> Payment of bills. Any questions you have to add? We're all good. It's all the a motion to approve. A motion, Commissioner uh, Flores, second by Commissioner. Second. second. Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four, zero vote. Presentation on the Texas anthrax. Good morning. On Friday, the sheriff and I attended a meeting at City Hall in reference to the anthrax situation going on. On the website, we um, we put this flyer on there, and it has a bunch of links that you can link on for information. Sorry. But all this is on our website. It's on our website as a news flash. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Auditor's report. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> There's any questions on the vendor report that we've already approved? No. Okay. We're good. Everybody good? Good. Any motion? Motion. Okay. Motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Okay. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. Yeah. Or zero vote. <laughs> <laughs> Treasurer's report. We're going to action on this one. Okay. This is the good one? Yes. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Okay. Interest. Uh, the most <coughs> remarkable. The uh, thing you'll find on this report is in interest off of our investments last month, we made $30,008.23. Up to. There's, that's, that's up to date. Yes. Yeah. That's just last month. I don't have exactly what we made since. So we can't on that every month, right? <laughs> Not particularly that much, but we've, we're doing a lot better than what we've done before. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Four zero vote. Thank you. It's just hard to get used to four zero vote. <laughs> Budget okay. adjustment transfer four hundred and fifty from off supplies line item to travel and training line item to cover courtroom security workshop in San Marcos, August twentieth to the twenty first, twenty nineteen. Jesse James, Constable Precinct One. Is there money in to be able to transfer? Yeah. There it is. Motion to approve. I'll second that. I have a motion. Commissioner Flores, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero vote. <coughs> 2020 Sheriff's and Constable Fees Report. Did you all get a copy of them, Judge? I think so. Okay. <laughs> they're, basically, they're basically the. The same fees that's been, been approved by the court previously. Do what? No, no changes. Mm -hmm. So we can okay. submit the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing? Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. A motion, Commissioner Flores, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. 4 0 vote. Item 16, budget, budget adjustment transfer $939.17 from contingency line item into doctors and medics. Have we already moved money? Already? We, have, we have. There was not enough money to continue the entire year. Okay. So we will probably continue this for the next six weeks. Okay. By any, any invoices that come in. Okay. Well, you just want to do it on an invoice by invoice? That probably sounds bad. Okay. Just a question. Need a motion? Motion. Motion, Commissioner Vasquez. Second by? Second. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Uh, Four zero vote. The item 17 update on family violence center construction. Oh, we're done. The construction. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, the construction is, is complete. Uh, there's a very small 
details that need to be taken care of from adjustment on the sprinkler zone. And uh, uh, some adjustments to the camera systems and that type. We're ready to, to purchase a, a swim set to put out in the uh, in the playground and three beds and, and with the donation that we just that we just received uh, that will will cover it just just fine. So we're, we're, we're good there. Okay. I know there's some other donations and and I spoke to the staff and they also had other donations from uh, other civic organizations. So they're they're adjusting quite well. All right. Uh, don't leave. Item 18, purchase by library of a reference desk from office supplies at price of $641.75 and an Optiplex computer and monitor at a price of $1,124.52 to be paid from library's computer maintenance account. I guess there is funds in both these accounts. There are. Uh, if I can make a recommendation, that computer, since it's an extension, could come from the bond account. Okay. I like that. And the 641 is actually coming from the $1,000 grant <coughs> that was given in the past. Okay. So when we make a motion, we'll make a motion that it comes out, the $1,124.52 comes out of the bond account. Anybody going to make that motion? Motion. A motion, Commissioner Wardlaw, second by. Second. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? I'm not sure. Four zero votes. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Don't leave. Authorized purchase of a secure access system for the Fitzpatrick building at a cost of $30,226.44 to be paid from courtroom security. How much money is in this courtroom security? In the main courthouse security, there's $62,000. In the JP courthouse security, there's uh, $1.5,000. Are we breaking part and part, or are we just taking it all out of one? Well, in order to take it all out of one and to be on the safe side, we, we could do it if we did a salary reimbursement transfer back to the general fund to reimburse the uh, bailiff salaries in that department. Okay. And then we can use that to facilitate yeah. this expenditure. Another JP. Okay. Another so. JP account. Well, we'd have to, we'd yeah. have to come back to the general to reimburse yeah. the bailiff. And then that. And then. Okay. Anybody want to make a motion to what he just said? Motion. <laughs> <laughs> motion to approve. I'll second it. Motion. Uh, motion, Commissioner Flores. Uh, second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, also, court. Judge, uh, recently <clears throat> we did have a TV that's been previously approved mm -hmm. to come out of the courthouse security. That screen has cracked and is not covered by warranty. So we would like to go ahead and purchase a replacement for that to come out of the uh, main courthouse security, which is going in the district courthouse. So we don't have to do any salary reimbursement. Well, there's money there, but correct for the two hundred seventy-nine. I don't have an item. Yeah, we don't have an item, but we are talking about courthouse security. We would just like to finish the project. What cracks the screen? We don't know. We don't know. You just won't say. No, no, no I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. know. <coughs> I don't know what cracked the yeah. screen. It was cracked in transit. Somewhere. I mean, I'd rather for it to be brought back, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Declare the. Here you go. A lot of items this time. Declare the following items of surplus property and proper disposition. Disposition made, but not limited to. The auction, reassigned, recycled, or destroyed. That was it. And there's a list, and we'll give this list. To, uh, they're all precinct two. Well, let me read. 1998 Ford Ranger, 1984 40-foot three-axle trailer, riding lawnmower, Craftsman zero-turn mower, Husqvarna uh, zero-turn mower, eight-foot pull-type shredder, John Deere eight-foot pull-type shredder, Rhino eight-foot pull-type shredder. Do I have a motion? Motion. A motion, Commissioner Flotis. Second. Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Four zero vote. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bond requesting approval to purchase items from the library's book collection out of the library's bond money totaling no more than eight thousand dollars. Is that possible? A motion. Motion approved. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero Aye. vote. <laughs> Budget adjustment item 22, budget adjustment transfer $4,500 from copier maintenance line item to office supply line item. Is there money there to transfer? There is. Motion to approve. Motion, Commissioner Flores. <coughs> Second, Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. 
4-0 vote. Burn ban for three months due to extreme heat and dry conditions. A motion to accept. Motion. A motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. 4-0 vote. On item 24, I don't think there's any action required. On item 25, no action required. That will be taken care of. Uh, lease, item 26, lease agreement between Vibrate County, Carson, and Barnes for the use of the fairgrounds. Motion. Second. Motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. 4 0 vote. Item 27, vehicle donation from Derville Torrent for the use of the, at the fairgrounds. Motion. A motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second. 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 Uh, Commissioner Flores. Are you going to abstain? Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. 3-0 vote. <clears throat> Item 28, one abstention, Commissioner uh, Vasquez. Item 28, approval of a lease agreement. That one there, we don't need any action taken. I'm sorry. Uh, item 29, HR monthly report, July 24, 2019 through August 1, 2019. Economic compliance, yes, all good. Money and everything. Motion to approve. <coughs> I have a motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh, 4 0 vote. That's a lot of people. Item 30, uh, status on animal control. Uh, on my part, we are getting an individual to come draw plans. Uh, that will be set up here. I, I, he's not a vendor right now. He'll have to go through that process. And then we've already gone out there and looked at it. So we can get those plans drawn. Uh, Sheriff, I think we had, you were looking at uh, getting somebody down here. The emails that were going back and forth. Yes, sir. Uh, yesterday, I was finally contacted by Region 8 uh, <coughs> Department of Health, uh, Dr. Amanda Kiefer, and uh, she'll be waiting for a date to, from us to come down here and uh, review what we currently have on site. She'll do an on site inspection and advise us if we can continue what, what we have or if we can move forward with a project or whatever. But, uh, uh, but I'd like to get. Uh, all the players involved of purchasing, uh, uh, some of the court can be there also. Uh, that, that way we can, we can do the same thing and we can uh, decide whether we need to move forward. Not decide, but... Can we do it next week? Yes, sir. Just give me a date. Can we do it then? No. Give it in. And we'll just do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions? We're good. Thanks. Item 31, Texas Department of Agricultural, Texas CDBG, contract number 7216075, acceptance of health monitoring review certification. Carl? Commissioner, briefly, uh, the county received a letter from the Texas Department of Agriculture on July 26, indicating that they had accepted the self monitoring review. What that means is that this project, you may recall, uh, included the uh, extension of water line out on Baker Verity Road and also the water tank over here on 2523 <coughs> close to Pesano. And uh, that project was monitored by Esser and Company uh, for all the different elements, which included the procurement, financial management, there were 21 draws. Uh, all this information was sent to TDA, and at the end of the day, they said there were no concerns, any disallowed costs, or any findings. So uh, the county should pat themselves on the back for that. And I should really want to congratulate and thank the uh, Juanita and the purchasing department, Roy, the auditor's office, both Matt and Rosa, uh, as well as Ulyssa, Elizabeth, Tom. There's just a number of folks that make this happen because this is a joint effort, a team effort with one of these projects. There's a lot of moving parts. <coughs> so congratulations to you all. We need to have a, take a vote <coughs> to accept it. Motion to approve. A motion, Commissioner Flores, second. Second. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. 4 0 vote. <coughs> Item 32, relocation of 8363rd Judicial District Adult Community Supervision and Corrections Department. That's not what I put in there. I'm not changing it, right? <laughs> <coughs> the court had talked about once we moved uh, the women's shelter over, that that building would be used for adult probation. 
and I just need some direction from the court that we begin to look at it and see what it's going to cost in order to paint and everything like that. Um, like I said, the court had looked at it once before. No action was taken for the simple reason that uh, we had not moved the battle when we sold drugs. I'll make the motion uh, on the relocation of 63rd and 83rd Judicial <coughs> District Adult. Uh, Would that be for the judge to investigate the procedure? Yes, sir. And, and what it's going to take in order to get it moved over and bring it back to the I'll court. I'll second that motion. I motion Commissioner Flota, second Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero vote. <coughs> this one here, uh, we received <coughs> money from the bingo funds from the, from the state of Texas, which I didn't realize we did, but now that the rules have changed, um, we have to send the state of Texas a letter saying that we still that we want to continue to receive funds. So I need a motion to a motion to uh, send a letter to the state. Okay. I have a motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. All those in, com, Commissioner Roska seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. Four zero <coughs> vote. Letter to the city of Del Rio regarding the dumping of trash by county crews in the city landfill field. Uh, we received a letter this past week. We've been talking to the city about trying to get to where we used to be a couple of years ago and before that, that we would we could request a letter from the city allowing us to dump uh, not, not just limbs, uh, but, but household trash or trash, anything that can be picked up with a claw truck. Uh, that has not happened. We received a letter this week stating that they would only continue to let us uh, dump limbs. Because the other trash, the way their contract was styled, um, that the city has to pay for it. My argument to that is the county is willing, was willing, is willing to help, and whether we pick it up or city crews pick it up, they still have to pay for it. Uh, I would recommend that we send a letter to them again with all the whole court signing it, uh, and then we can present it to the city. I mean, again, their argument was that they end up paying for the trash that's in the city <coughs> whenever their clubs pick it up. Uh, we're willing to help, and we can't even get we can't even get permission to dump their own trash in their own landfill. <laughs> I make a motion. All right. I'll second that, Judge. A motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? All right. Four zero vote. <coughs> Optional county road and bridge fee of ten dollars for fiscal year 2019-2020, pursuant to Transportation Code Section 502401. This is an extra fee that we'd be able to collect. Motion to approve. A motion. <coughs> Commissioner Flores, second by second. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Uh -huh. right. Four zero vote. Travel to Fort Stockton, Fairgrounds Training by Fairgrounds Facility Manager Edgar Perez on August 8, 2019. Cost of travel is estimated to be $120. Commissioner Wardlaw, does okay, what we requested is that uh, there be a transfer from operating funds. Mm -hmm. Operating from Fairgrounds? Operating from Fairgrounds okay. to his travel. I'll make that motion. Second. <coughs> uh, motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Uh, four zero vote. Easement for Big Ben Telephone along the east side of Conway Road. Commissioner Nettleton said that he, he was okay with this. Motion to approve. I uh, have a motion, Commissioner Flotis. Second, by. Second. Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh, four zero vote. And the county clerk is the reason this thing's so long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it quick. All right. Joint election request by San Felipe Duro Consolidated Independent School District for the use of county courthouse to process election night results and the use of election equipment and surplus. Auto marks M100 ballot boxes and booths, etc. to conduct the 2019 bond election and establish branch polling locations. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Judge, Commissioners, um, we've received a request from the school district. Um, there's a new house bill taking effect September 1st that makes it mandatory for them to join any county election that is happening for any of the things they need to have. So they are proposing a bond election um, for the purposes of building a new school. There has to be a, a vote on that by the public. So they are proposing to join our constitutional election that we're holding on November 5th of this year, and it'll be a joint election. In addition to that, um, they are asking to establish two branch early voting and election day sites. 
one at two different schools. One would be at Buena Vista School, and one would be at Lamar. But they, everybody is going to get to vote at those areas also. We're not going to restrict it to just school. In order for them to hold that election with us as a joint, they have to put the whole ballot out for everyone. So we would be expanding our early voting site to two additional branch locations at each one of those but schools. The cost, Mr. Moore? I don't have an idea right now, but the, they will pay for their expenses. Whatever I spend to fund those two or to man those two locations, all the expenses of the ballot, the programming, everything is prorated. So they will take care of their... And, and when you say prorated, though, but I mean, if we were having the regular election, we would not be having them in the school. So why would we prorate that? We, uh, it's, I guess it's part of the new move from the state to try to get everybody to have elections no, no, no. on the same time because it's so cost effective. But, um, but again, I, mean, I would say we would probably spend... Well, we spent last time just 26000 just on manpower. And so the programming, the, the vendor programs and prorates everything depending on the item they have on a ballot. Because either way, they would have to have a ballot. No, no, no I understand. But, I mean, usually during our elections, we have our early vote here. They're asking for two more places. So they will fund everything holiday. that's related just, to those two locations, okay. including the manpower, clear. including the clerks. Okay. And, and, <laughs> but they work. will be responsible for putting on our issues on that same ballot. Okay. So you said everybody gets to vote at either school? Yes. What does that mean? That means that whoever can come, all 17 precincts, will also vote at Buena Vista and Lamar on both the constitutional and the bond election. The only precincts that will not have the bond election, the school item on it, is precinct 32, 42, and 43 because the school district does not go into those places. But the ballots will still uh, have the constitutional. So you this an improvement then, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It will be cut back. And yeah. I believe that House Bill, it's 1888. It, uh, co it covered the school district specifically, but I totally see them pushing the other entities, the schools, I mean the cities, the hospital, also to do that one thing. I have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. And motion, Commissioner Cody. <coughs> Second, Commissioner Warden. All those in favor? Aye. Four zero vote. Item 39, order of election for the purpose of adopting or rejecting the, the proposed constitutional amendments as submitted to the 86th legislature regular session of the state of Texas. All right. Um, the state, the governor, issues the order on the constitutional election, but they also recommend that the county also pass an order calling for the constitutional amendment election. I hear a motion. Motion. Motion of Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner. Second. Ward law, all those in favor? Aye. 4-0 vote. Item 40. Determination <coughs> of the number of clerks assigned per polling place for the upcoming constitutional amendment election in San Felipe Del Rio Consolidated Independent School District bond election. Okay, this is the regular. From here down, it's regular what we always do. Um, we're proposing to man the polling locations with five. One judge, one alternate <coughs> judge, and three clerks. Motion to approve. I have a motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. Second. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. 4-0 vote. Item 41, appointing of election judges and setting rates of pay for judges, alternate judges, and clerks at $12 per hour for the upcoming November 5th, 2019 Constitutional Amendment election in San Felipe de Rio Consolidated Independent School District bond election. Motion to approve. I mean, it's the same pay from... No, sir. No, uh, we paid... Last year in November we paid 15, but okay, however we like this one. <laughs> you want to go to 12 because on September 1st the legislature passed mandatory 12 dollars. Okay. Pay for I have a motion, dollars. Commissioner Flores. One second. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Yeah. Four zero vote. Item 42, <coughs> consolidation of election precincts for November 5th, 2019, Constitutional Amendment in San Felipe del Rio consolidated bond election. Okay. Yes, sir. This is the regular way we have the Constitution. We consolidate to the four commissioners' precincts. But in addition to that, you'll have the two <coughs> branch locations for the school. Motion to approve. Uh, Commissioner Flores made a motion. Second and a bye. 
Commissioner Wardlow. All those in favor? Aye. Four zero vote. Item 43, appointment of general counting station manager for the upcoming constitutional amendment election in San Felipe de Oro Consolidated Independent School District Bond. Okay. Usually, it, that would be me. It's just a, a formality to do it. it. I have to oversee the whole motion to election. Motion. Commissioner Flores made a motion. Seconded Second. by Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero vote. Item 44, appointment of the central counting station manager for the upcoming constitutional amendment election in San Felipe de Del Rio Consolidated Independent School District Bond election. That would be you again, right, Jenny? No, sir. Um, this, uh, there was an error. Uh, it was called the manager again. It should be the judge. Okay. She, she's in charge, and that would be Ms. Christie, Olita Christie. She's motion the one that's done it. Uh, motion, Commissioner Flores, seconded by. <coughs> Second. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. Right. 4 0 vote. Item 45, request an appointment of tabulation supervisor for the upcoming constitutional amendment <coughs> and San Felipe Del Rio Consolidated Independent School District on joint election. She's, this is a tabulation supervisor. She <coughs> supervises all the ballot boxes coming in, the gathering of the data. Yeah, in mind. Oh, it's um, my staff member, oh, Cindy Santo. Okay. Motion to approve. Uh, motion, Commissioner Flores, seconded by. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Yeah. Four zero vote. Item 46, <coughs> requesting appointment of Alberta County Clerk's deputies as early voting <coughs> clerks as needed for the upcoming constitutional amendment in San Felipe de Oro Consolidated Independent School District bond joint election. And that would be everyone in my office. We just, as, as we need people, if something happens, we want to be able to draw on them for anything we need to get done. So we don't want to take the time to have to go and appoint them at the last minute. Motion to approve. The motion, Commissioner Flores, seconded by Second. Commissioner Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero <coughs> vote. Wow. Executive session, uh, Sonia? Yes. Is there anybody Thank there? you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Is there anybody? Yes, she's coming. Okay. Executive session items that may result in action in open session and closed session. <laughs> Item 47, closed session consultation pursuant to Texas Government Code A551.071, parentheses 2, attorney client privilege, and B551.72, the purchase, exchange, lease, and value of real property. Uh, Senator <coughs> uh, Council Gitcher will go into executive session and we'll come back out and start the budget workshop. Let's <coughs> take a recess. Did you say yes, dear? <laughs> yes, dear. Session's going to take. We don't want to use uh, the batteries. Um. <laughs> well, that's good to know. But you're Thank you. Put your broadcast down. Oh my God, mine's all messed up. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't cuss. <coughs> it's 10:20. Court come back into session. No action was taken. Executive session. We did talk a lot, but no action taken. Uh, we're gonna go down the list, Miss Someone. Uh, in your budget and in your. Okay, scale, are we okay? Is there something you might want to talk about? Where are we at? Uh, okay, I don't, I just got my budget this week, so I, I, this is going to be another session, and let it be good till another one. I didn't see anything that just stood straight out, but I haven't reviewed the um, the proposed phase case. So on a percentage basis, did you do more it's okay? Yeah, I think okay. so. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. That's too easy. Uh, I think the next one on my book is Veterans Office. Are we okay? With your budget, we're fine? Yes, sir. Where you go? Veterans Office, we're good. Next one on mine is the 63rd. Uh, I haven't had any comments for him. I, uh, I do know that the 83rd, he'll be coming back on... Uh, 
on the 21st. So the 63rd will move on. District Clerk, Ms. Joanne Cervantes. Are we good? You need to have something else? I just didn't see that line item when I wanted the postage. For the, for the postage? Yes. Okay. Um, not only that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, I thought we'd also given her more money. And this might be another one of those uh ohs. Uh, on the office supply, could we go over one up $3,500? What do you have there? Okay. I've got 18. Yeah. Um, I could have sworn I went up $3,500. I saw it on my deal. Not on the item, but one that I submitted. Yeah, maybe yeah. thirty five hundred. She she wanted a line item for postage, just separate postage. We want to do that or just increase office supplies. I would increase just office supplies. That would be enough to another line item by thirty five hundred. And and I know that in one of the ones that I did, we did thirty five hundred because uh, I just looked at that thirty five hundred dollars more. Is that okay? That, that's kind of like yeah, the average. $3,500 $3, added to the $18,000. It's already hundred. Yes, ma'am. Is the court all right with that? Uh, adding the $3,500. Uh, instead of creating another line item, she's taking postage out of that, and they have been using more postage. Mm -hmm. And, and I think we got that problem fixed also where we're writing a bigger PO, right, for postage. Right. And we got that fixed, man. Right. I mean, we were having issues at the beginning that it was like it was running out, having to use a credit card or something. But well, that would be right. We fixed that. Right. Is the court all right with adding thirty-five hundred to that? I uh, I will tell you that it was in one of the budgets that we presented. Do we take action on that? Right now, yes. I, okay. I would. I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. And again. It wasn't. It wasn't a deal. Uh, postage at thirty-five hundred dollars. It will be added to operate to office supply. I'm sorry, uh, Commissioner Flores, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero four zero. Four. Thank you. Justice of the Peace Precinct One. Is he here? Are you okay with your budget? You need that? You're good. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. JP2, I guess you'll come and be back. The discussion that I had with him on Monday, just to be perfectly clear, was that in looking at some numbers, uh, I would recommend to the court that we uh, we cut one individual from his budget and not fund one. But I would rather for him to be here uh, if the court's going to make that decision or if we talk about it. Uh, so I would like uh, on the 21st, maybe we can get him on here on the 21st. That way we can all look at the, the same numbers. Uh, JP Precinct 3, not here. JP Precinct 4, well, you have, you're good? I'm going to run over some numbers uh, real quick just for the court uh, for information. I'd ask for uh, the four precincts to give me numbers on magistration misdemeanor, magistration felonies, administrative hearings, warrants issued, civil debt claims, small claims, eviction, citation tickets, inquest, mental health, uh, juvenile detention, ignition interlocks, and EPOs. Uh, and then what I did is I, I came up with a total for all that. I'd like to share these numbers uh, with the commissioners. These were for uh, fiscal year 2017, 2018, the year ending in 2018. When you add all those together, Precinct 1 had 2,195. Precinct 2 had 1,973. Precinct 3 had 2,017. Precinct 4 had six, 1,652. And if you divide that number by the number of personnel, Precinct 1, uh, per person in the office, worked 731 of those cases. Precinct 2 worked 394, Precinct 3 worked 504, and Precinct 4 worked 505. So, I mean, that, that was my logic on, on the Precinct 2, but again, we'll, we'll deal with that when he shows up. The other deal also, just see if I can find it real quick. I had a, a, 
But JP, give me give me civil cases and criminal cases and total cases uh, that they worked from October 2017 to 2018. Now, I know I'm taking a little bit of y'all's time, but I, I think this is important. <clears throat> When we come up to the court and we say that we have a lot of cases or, or have a lot of cases pending, cases that were added during that time period, Precinct 1 was 1,992, 1,392, Precinct 2 was 1,528, Precinct 3 was 1,650, Precinct 4 was 1,030. By precinct, if you go by uh, percentages, how many they disposed of, uh, Precinct 1, disposed of 46% uh, of their cases, the new cases, or cases that came in new. Uh, precinct 2 was 50%. Precinct 3 was 70%. Precinct 4 was 95% uh, that they disposed of. And then what's really more interesting is that if you add the number of people that the four precincts have, this one is actually, when you look at the four precincts, they're easier than any other departments to look at because you have something to compare against to where our district clerk, our county clerks, I would have to go out and it's different. But when you look at our JPs, Precinct 2 has 33% of the people or, of, of, that are hired. They did 21% uh, of, the, of, the, of the cases, new cases. Uh, Precinct 3 has 26% of the people, but they did 29% of new cases and are disposed of cases. And then uh, Precinct 1 and 4 both have 20% of the total individuals that are JPs, but Precinct 1 did 25, and Precinct 4 did 18. And then when you go back and look at the cases per uh, per person, uh, Precinct 1 did 215 cases per individual in the office. Precinct 2 did 155 cases. Precinct 3 did 289 cases that they disposed of. And then Precinct uh, 4 328 cases that they disposed of per individual. Uh, you know, I've had JPs ask for more for more uh, personnel, and I'm bringing this up because I'm sure we'll get in a conversation in two weeks about this. But these numbers don't lie. If you're sitting here looking at how many cases you're being you're disposing of, your caseload will grow if you're not disposing of cases, and it, it is what it is. So we need to be real careful what we ask for. Now I'll come off of that soapbox and we will go on to county court at law. Uh, he was just real concerned with his salary, and I think we adjusted his salary according to uh, what the state recommended. Right, state the minimum. minimum, state minimum. You will see when we publish the, here later on, we have an item on the agenda to, to set the salaries uh, for elected officials. When that goes out, you will see that he probably he didn't probably. He did get the largest raise either by percentage or dollars. Uh, but it is, uh, our hands are tied. It's, the state set it up, and that's just the way it's going to be. So he's good. Uh, county attorney, there was an issue on the salary between the district and county attorney, second assistant, that we had put in the budget, and then uh, it got dropped out for some reason. And basically, it was an $1,850 more for the second assistant. That is not in this budget, but was in the bud one of the other budgets that y'all had received on the second assistant. That would put them in line with the district, not judge, district attorney's second <coughs> assistant. The, the second assistant for the for the county attorney would be the same. And we would need to, to add $1,850 to the second assistant just to make it the same as a district uh, attorney's second assistant. Motion to approve, Judge. Motion, Commissioner Flores. Second by Second. Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? 4-0 uh, vote. County Auditor. He actually said we could take money from him. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we okay? What do you mean? Well, I would request a capital outlay item of $10,000. For what? I'll just figure it out during the year. Huh? huh? I'll just decide during the year what I need. <laughs> Why well, can't you come to the court and just buy something? <laughs> well, I didn't know if I was going to be, have the same latitude that the court was going to have. But <laughs> that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, right? <laughs> well, the good thing is you don't get them up. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. County treasurer? Same thing. Huh? Same thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell him. Go ahead. Tell him. Go ahead. Go, ahead, go man. <laughs> Uh, Judge, uh, first and foremost, thank you for keeping my budget the same as last year, and thank you for raising the base pay on my county clerk. Um, that's my second in command. Speaking of my county, uh, my county clerk, I would like to see that base pay go a little higher because she is mission critical. Uh, she is one part of my office that is absolutely necessary. And even though that raise in base pay is great, yeah, I wouldn't be a good boss if I didn't try to fight for her a little more. So, if we can just sit down and discuss that when we get a chance. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going to discuss it now. Okay. Uh, get it over with. Uh, I would recommend we don't do it just because there's been a lot of time put into this. And if we start adjusting one by one, we're going to end up doing everybody. Mm -hmm. Next year, if we do a, a step, which I think one of the commissioners has already said that that's probably possible, in my opinion, just one member of the court. I think it needs to stay the same. Okay. okay. I don't know. Again, I wouldn't, be a good, I wouldn't be a good boss if I didn't try. We understand. <laughs> understand. So thank you. Uh, would the court just want to leave them, leave, leave the salary as it is for the county treasurer's office? Yes. Okay. Tax assessor collector. See? Mine's fine. Okay. No. And thank you. And, and the court did uh, go back to having one statement. So, uh, and it was a 5 0 vote. No, not a problem. Thank you all. Information and technology. Good, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Muskis. Wonderful. Uh, I love you. You're good. The county agent, there was a deal in there, uh, and she'd asked me. We'd set aside $4,500 for fuel. Ms. Rodriguez asked if we, and Ms. Grant also asked if we could take maybe $350 out of that $4,500 and add to Mr. Ms. Rodriguez either for, uh, to add a line item for, uh, Auto allowance of so three hundred and fifty dollars total, but take it out of the forty five hundred dollars because there can't be a, she can't be spending fuel for her own personal vehicle and she's using her own personal vehicle. So if we could do three hundred and fifty dollars and that's annual, not monthly, for Miss Rodriguez and uh, car allowance. Motion to approve. Can I second that, sir? The motion, Commissioner Flores, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Uh -huh. uh, five zero vote. The library, they said they're really happy. No. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come up here, Mr. Bonson? We can hear you a little bit. Thank you, sir. On the computer maintenance accounts, uh -huh. uh, I've got it all itemized here. And there's one item that I'm not sure how we paid for it in the past. It's the Biblioteca service and maintenance. It must have come out of maybe a bond fund or something. But it's, it's going to be under the computer maintenance account, I would think. What it come? It needs to be moved over to the computer maintenance account. Okay. So is there enough money? It's, it, it's eleven thousand dollars a year. So, no. so we went from twenty-three to twelve thousand. So we well, it's fine before I knew about the people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there, there needs to be that other eleven thousand in there, or, or y'all tell me. When did that invoice come up? It comes up annually. Which I like now, right? December. December we get the quote and we put in the bill. So it was, it was it was already taken out of 19. Right, it's June 3rd, 2020 is the renewal. And, and that's how come I went to the 12 for the simple reason that if it was already, t I mean, did it come out of this one? Because I went by percentages on what were used. Would it come out of this? Oh, bond. Can we do it out of bond again? Yes? Was it an added story with the expansion? Yes. 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 So we'll just take it out of the box. That work? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep, that's fine. Good. And you're good with everything else? The rest of it's fine, yes. All right. You are the greatest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, <coughs> since it's already being done like that, we don't need a motion or anything to do it. To redo it again. It's already being done like that. Because it was an added service. Yes. So you don't need any action from us. Thank you. County Fire Department. Be careful, Jerry. Come on up. <laughs> Don't ask for the world. You're already getting two to three trucks. So. 
But you're good. The only change that I see is by now we're under a heavy fire load, and instead of hiring the two firefighters that quit, and uh, I, I would like to right now leave it like I got it. I got six part timers working, but Jerry, that are already certified for the city. Your budget? Huh? Are you okay with your budget? I'm okay if okay. I keep it like And, and the other part about you hiring, that's a decision that you'll have to make. Sir? The way you, what we were talking about earlier about yeah. you keeping the part-timers, at least now when we're having a lot of fire issues. Right. And if that's what you want to do, that's your call. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's your call. For right now. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm happy on the rest of it. Thank you, sir. But I didn't see a $100,000 raise. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> the next one is building maintenance. I think uh, okay. <clears throat> and Commissioner Nettleton, uh, we'll just leave this the way it is for now, and then we'll bring it back on the 21st, if y'all don't mind. That'll be okay. That'll work. All right. Where's Edgar? Okay. You okay? You yes? Okay. Uh, And <laughs> this one was also an, an uh, uh We have building repairs. Mm -hmm. Building repairs, materials, and this, okay. these three here. Mm -hmm. I guess this one, this one, and this one, they were added together. I guess that's the 128. Correct. Okay. We're good. That's okay. the only, only problem with the only issue. <clears throat> but there was a question on, uh, and we can discuss it. And we'll get the other one back. But, um, put on salaries, and I have one opinion, and there's other opinions, so we'll just wait. What? Huh? Okay, there, no, there was no other one. No, it's, no. Okay. I, just, I just found it. Thank you so much. All right. County Sheriff, I think he said he was in heaven. Yeah, here you took Gary, asked for the world. Yeah, he, no. <laughs> no, 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 we didn't. Ask for the world. <laughs> Judge and commissioners, uh, uh, with respect to the to the salaries, I'm in agreement with the way the the budget is proposed. I think that that's the the best that uh, if this passes has been done in the last ten years for our employees. I think our our employees, you know, that's what that's what makes us, and we need to we need to take care of that. So, with respect to the salaries, I'm in agreement. Uh, with respect to some of the line items, I noticed that there's some a little bit more than others. As long as they can be addressed throughout the year, we need to through contingency. That'd be fine. Awesome. And we've done that every year, sir. So. Yeah. You're good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh huh. Good luck. <laughs> You're leaving, right? <laughs> <Can you go? laughs> well, you're, but you're leaving. <laughs> you're leaving, though, ain't you going? Okay, well, that's uh, not really. <laughs> 83rd, 63rd, he said that he was going to have court, he'd be back. Risk management, uh, there will be a question on the payroll on that. And on the 21st, we'll need to address because we have an engineer. Uh, we have an engineer that is posted at a hundred and some odd thousand. Doesn't look like anybody wants to come work for us, so we can come back and address that on the 21st. But everything else, you still right? I'm right here. You're, you're okay? Okay. Constable Precinct 1. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, everything is fine on mine, Judge. Um, on one, the only, my only concern is on the continuous education uh, the, uh, travel for seven hours. Okay. I believe it was lower down from last year. Because um, it looked like you weren't using it, but this year it looks like you are. Using I went all out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Judge. 
So um, the only thing is <coughs> that I am scheduled to do a, a continuous education course for constables, which is required every four years. Mm -hmm. That's going to be in Huntsville. We're looking at approximately, I called yesterday, about $1,239.63 just for that 40-hour course. That, we, that is mandated. Is that the only course, sir, that you need to take? Next and year? then we'll probably have a 20 hour civil process. That one, it's the, the schedule's not out. It's normally either done Corpus, Galveston, uh, Austin, depending on where I can get in. And what are you requesting? I'm sorry? How much total are you requesting? Well, um, ju I'm just going to go based on what I spent just this year alone. When I went to Rockwell, it was almost six hundred dollars, five hundred and eighty nine I believe or so. And then for the score security course that I'm taking on the on the twenty uh, first of this month, that's a four hundred and fifty dollars. That's including the, the metro stay, the mileage and the meals. So I'm saying right roughly about fifteen I have I think I requested fifteen on the uh, So right there you're at thousand fifty. Yeah. <clears throat> a thousand that's how much I spent this year. <coughs> and uh, for this coming year, like I said, I have uh, I am scheduled and I'm uh, for the 20, uh, 40 hour civil process. That's in Huntsville. There's, those are, uh, that's with the uh, Law Enforcement Management Institute of Texas. Well, Commissioner Ward, I'll ask how much? Total. $1,500. I'll make a motion. Second that. Where are we going to get that money from? So, have, have, have you applied for the U.S. funds? No. Okay, because there is financing there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's do this. I have a motion, hey, Commissioner. You can get that yet. You have to apply for it. All right. I have a motion, Commissioner Ward. I have a second, Commissioner Flores, and let's look into before we. <laughs> okay. okay. That's enough. Yes. Uh, I had a motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. I had a motion, Commissioner Flores, $1,500. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass that, and we will look into the Leo Fund. And uh, it would sure help us and help you yes, later sir. on if you could look into it. And I know that Constable Bird, uh, you look into it. Maybe if you can help him, we'd really appreciate it. No problem. That work? That's Thank it. You. Everything else is good. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Uh, precinct 2, the salaries on the book. <laughs> Uh, he got a pretty good pay increase, and that's not right. Did you vote on that last time? We can't. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Uh, precinct 2, the salaries, I think there was a misprint. should be the same as all the rest of them. That's at the 45, 594, not the 460. 94. On Constable PC2, in my book I have 46094. We need to go to the 45,594. And it's just a, a typo if you don't mind, sir. Does that work? Are we good, Matt? Yes, sir. Okay. Precinct 3, sir. <coughs> you got a list. <laughs> Uh, I'm very happy with the, with the way the budget looked, the salary and whatnot. Uh, I did ask for $3,000 to replace that camera system at six years old, and uh, that camera's not working right now. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is uh, I got a little bit of neglect over in the, uh, the um, office of to try to get it, see if I can get it fixed. Only thing I ask is if I, if I can't get a fix, it, if they can address it at a later date. You know, <coughs> if it needs, if you can't get it fixed, sir, if you bring it back, then we'll make a decision. Then, if you're okay with that. Yes, sir, that's fine. Okay. Okay, but everything else is perfect. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Constable Precinct Four. Yeah, Richard. You're good. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Community Center. Uh, we did raises, we did <coughs> all kinds of stuff there. Judge, I, I don't know if this is a, the time to bring it up, but um, I need another part-timer there to help out. I just got way too much work there for Sandra and the part-timer that we have right now. Okay. 
Uh, could you bring back something on the 21st? Sure. sure. Okay, then we'll look at it then. Uh, that's going to be difficult, Commissioner, but either way, you yes, have right. to bring it back. Uh, Juanita? I'm good. Where is it? On the issue on the general fund, I mean, all that's pretty much, it is what it is. Right? Capital outlay, uh, we have the $1.2 million. Is there any way that we could get something on the fill in the blank type deal at the bottom? Yeah, the capital outlay. Setting us aside for IT something, uh, we'd set aside and that money get eaten up. And uh, me and you, no, me and you had talked about setting aside some funds for IT capital projects. Mm -hmm. That's set aside in a special revenue. Okay. So it's still there. <coughs> it is. Would you like to see that one? If you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. And that, and that way the court understands what we did uh, or what we're doing. I just didn't, when I did, when I started trying to total what we've done, the 1.2 really looked low. <laughs> what well, did? I think mean, you're adding more. Mm -hmm. That's coming in as a transfer. Right. Okay. We had set aside, uh, we'd actually had, in, in the budget year that we're in right now, we'd had um, like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for for Odyssey. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether we go with it next year or whatever, or in three years, we're setting aside some money right now for the technology uh, improvement fund. In order, uh, if our servers break, and then if we can build up enough money in a couple of years, if we want to come back and look at Odyssey, the money's already there. We're not having to go out and fish for money. Okay. Correct. What? Right. Yeah. Right. District Attorney, I talked to him today. He had a couple of deals that he wanted to do, and I think he's going to get with you, Matt, about giving people that he pays for a 3% raise because it wasn't figured in. But he said he would get with you and then bring it back on the 21st. But no funds, no increase to us, to the county. Okay. Animal control, sure. You had another person added, and you had more money added, and <coughs> now we're at 100000 You okay? For now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one. Huh? Yeah, this is another one. Good luck. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did he say something that time? <laughs> I scratched through one of his other line items. <laughs> uh, road and bridge. Uh, it shows you all the revenue uh, that we have. Uh, the cost of the commissioner's office is on the next page. Uh, I guess Commissioner Jello is okay with that. We all had adjusted the salaries and we did do the classification last yeah. year, so that's good. Y'all are good with that. Uh, precinct 1, uh, we did combine operating expenses and, and paving. That way everybody wouldn't have to come to the court. Uh, Martin, are you okay with no that? No problem. Precinct 2, uh, there was some TRIZ money added because it was left over. Uh, it was carried over because it's TRIZ money, not part of the not part of the, just the budget. Commissioner? Go ahead. And precinct three, both said he loved it, not really. <laughs> you come back on the 21st, yeah. <laughs> it's good, right? Precinct four, you should be elated. Uh, are you okay with yours? I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Y'all all right? Uh, interest in sinking, bottom line is all that from interest in sinking. Uh, all that it is what it is. There is a uh, you'd already put in the six million dollars for your debt in our front page. Is that right? I did. Okay. Uh, payment on the 
debt service for the anticipated, what are we going to do for the payment on that for the, in this next year? For the, for the SU ranch, sir, I'm sorry. Correct. Payment coming out of the transfer out of the general fund. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just trying to cover all bases. That way, when we get asked, we already we know which way we're running. Right. That is the combination of our transfers out of other financing sources. Okay. It's in there. It's in there. You got it. It's good. Okay. I just, that way, everybody listening to the same thing. We're good. Uh, Judge Cole? Uh, we stick to. We put you on the twenty-first. Would you? Do you have something? Or, or? I just have one brief thing. I mean, let's let's take care of it. Let, let's figure let's figure out what you got. Okay. If you don't mind. Thank you, and I apologize. I would have been here, but I had a, a time-sensitive issue that I had to deal with. Um, not that this is not important too. Uh, I did ask for an additional clerk. And uh, the reason that I asked for the additional clerk was because we do have a tremendous caseload. Uh, civil is just coming faster and faster every day. We're having more and more of them every day. And then uh, we have this issue that's coming up with Senate Bill 2342, increasing the jurisdictional uh, amount from 10,000 to 20,000, which is going to bring us into car accidents and other or larger stake um, cases and um, we are trying hard to keep up with what we have we were barely able to keep up before and with two new clerks we're, we're making headway but I see more coming down the road than what we have now at a greater pace and we need another clerk to be able to handle those Okay. Uh, you weren't here a little while ago when I gave that speech. But the list that y'all had given to me, uh -huh. uh, ran through the numbers. Uh, if you look at precinct one per number of employees, of everything that they do, they do 731 per employee. Precinct two does 394 of the, of the list that y'all turned in. And then precinct three does uh, 504. And then precinct four actually does 550. So when I look at that, and this is just me and you talking, Judge. Okay. I mean, it has to be a court understand. decision. <clears throat> I will tell you that one of your numbers that really looks good is on the cases that uh, your civil and, and criminal cases. Yes. When you look at the cases that came in and then what you uh, disposed of. Yes. Uh, per amount of employees on the on the second floor, you have 26 percent of the employees, and you did 29 percent of the caseload. Uh, precinct 1 has 20% of the employees and did 25% of the caseload. You did, uh, you did uh, dispose of approximately 70% between 2017 and 2018. Uh, precinct 4 disposed of 95% of, of the cases that came in, which, which you, know, you look at the numbers, your numbers are higher, I will tell you that, uh, on the criminal and civil cases, even what you're uh, disposing of. But when you look at, at cases per per person uh, that you disposed of, you were uh, you were at 289. Uh, precinct four was at 325. Precinct two was at 155, and precinct one was at 215. So when you take all these numbers, I would recommend to the court that we leave it the way it is right now. If your caseload begins to increase, uh, and we can come back with the numbers during next budget year. And this this new statute that they just passed, a new rule, if it begins to affect us in an adverse position, mm -hmm. uh, we look at it. I would recommend that we leave it the way it is, but it's just my it's just my opinion. Okay, okay. and I, I certainly do appreciate your opinion. The thing that that we are seeing happening now is evictions, civil cases, and small claims. Are just they're at a pace I have never seen since I have been here. They are faster, faster. We get a stack every day. The mail brings them, people come in and file them. And I mean, we're trying to keep our head above water. And with two brand new clerks, one experienced clerk, it's been a challenge, but we are working very hard on them, and the pace is increasing all the time. 
We can't keep up with serving our community with the pace that's increasing. You know, times are hard, money's short, people are losing their homes, we, we're having uh, we're having evictions all the time. It's a very lengthy process. It, it's it's not something short. Sometimes we have several hearings, and and there's just monuments of paperwork that is required on evictions and civil cases. And I need that clerk. I need that clerk now, and I'm going to probably need it even more as time goes by. But I do need that clerk. You know, I, I know in road crews, you can only do so much with what you have to work with and the people that you have. <coughs> we are the same way. You know, it's your responsibility to keep the roads going. It's our responsibility to keep the cases flowing. We have a responsibility to our citizens to process those cases in the most expedient way within the um, statutes. And that's what we're trying very hard to do. And it is extremely hard at this time, and it's going to get worse. And I'm telling you now that we would really appreciate and need, and our citizens would appreciate and need, being able to get things in a timely fashion with, uh, within the statute of the law. Because I see a big dilemma coming. A big dilemma. And that's what I told you in my letter of June 12th. I see a big dilemma coming, and maybe we can avoid that. But we are in a crisis situation now, today. We have a stack of civil cases right now about this high that need to be processed. And two new clerks and one experienced clerk, and they're working really hard. They're catching on fast. But it's just that we don't have the manpower, woman power, whatever you want to call it, to do these things. Okay. Well, again, I mean, your numbers, when I'm taking the numbers straight up what Judge Fox sent me and then the numbers that y'all sent me for 2018, if y'all would want to do different numbers between uh, 28 for fiscal year 2019 or up to date that we could look at, but the numbers that I'm looking at right here, in my opinion, don't support another individual. But if you're telling me that your caseload has grown uh, in this past year, then... You know, we have another budget hearing on the 21st, but with what I'm looking at right now, I would recommend that your numbers don't support another person. But if you're telling me that your caseload has grown so much over this last year, and to me, it's all about numbers. If, you, if, if it has, it has. And I would say that the caseload has grown the most probably from this calendar year, from January up until now. But and we could look. What, what is just so uh, overwhelming to us is the fact that every day they're increasing. Just no, and that's increasing, what I'm saying, uh, Judge. You know, I'd be willing to put these numbers again for the court, but what I'm looking at with what was done at the end of 2018, the numbers don't justify the position. But if you're telling me that right now the caseload has increased by X, and we can you can show me, and it's just, I'm just one of five up here. Uh, but if the numbers have changed, then I, I think we need to look at it. But right now, the way it sits right now, I would recommend we don't do anything to your position. I'm just one of four right now. But May if we can I it, get an opinion from the others of you? Uh, uh, so we just, support the judges. Just call you. You support the judges' yes, opinion, okay? Just call. I got a question for you. Are, are, right now, at this time, are you missing out on any? Deadlines, any uh, of what it? We are like putting out fires just before they. <clears throat> but we're not okay. Up. You know, we're able to keep up. We're not we've got a lot of comp time. <clears throat> um, my clerks are working very hard to keep up, and we're just barely hanging on. Well, my recommendation, to, what I would do is go ahead and leave it the same, Judge. That's my opinion. Leave it the same, and then a little bit later on, bring, uh, more different numbers, and maybe we could. Take a look at it again and see what, you know, okay. the, the court can do. Okay. Commissioner? Uh, same thing, uh, Judge. I'm going to have to respect the judge's decision. Uh, I think if you can come up with uh, new numbers, proving his numbers different, then mm -hmm. we'll look at it. Okay. And and can you tell me what numbers that you would like to have? <coughs> he sent me a list. He actually sent us a list. All four precincts have sent a list. And I'll give you this right here. Okay. Those are what it is. And then uh, I'll go online 
uh, and get the Ford JP's numbers from uh, <clears throat> from October 2018 through through the end of last month, if they're already posted or whenever the most current numbers are. Okay. That work? And then be uh, these numbers here. This is criminal and the civil. Okay. Right. Um, certainly, I do respect that, and I, I will work on getting those together. And I would like to be on your agenda or your list or whatever mm -hmm. for the 21st. Okay. And then uh, to to go just a little bit further about your question, uh, Commissioner Vasquez. You know, we haven't missed the deadline on a dead, on a civil or, or or any of our cases. We have not. But what we are missing is reporting. You notice you didn't get a, a report from our office this this time. You know, and, and you know, Judge, we are one just other behind, and it's a matter of either or. And Judge, and, and one other deal. I mean, even if we, even if the court was decided to give you another one. It's still a new person, so you're not going to catch up right, right. anyway. So, I mean, the, deal, the fact of the matter is you have new people, we're just going to have to deal with it. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but it's one of those deals. Until they get trained, it is what it is. Well, and the <coughs> two new clerks that we have uh, that we have are doing extremely well. They're, they're catching on very quickly, and they're moving along better than I had any hope of. Judge, have you uh, replaced uh, the vacant spot you have? I've replaced both of those. I uh, promoted Ashley into Debbie's uh, position as the chief deputy and hired two new clerks. One comes with a lot of experience from the sheriff's office, yes. and um, the other one comes with a lot of experience in other ways. But uh, they're both very good, and they're both very quick, and they're doing a great job. You'll get those numbers for me. I will. Thank you, ma'am. I will. Thank and you, thank Judge. you very much for allowing me to speak out. Oh, thank you. Sure. We're good. We're good. Judge, uh, did you have something? Uh, I'm sorry. Judge Gonzalez, sorry. I was, um, I was in court, so mm -hmm. I apologize for the delay. I couldn't get over here. You're the last one. <laughs> Glad I made it. I saw the text. Thank you, Judge. Um, with respect to my budget, I'm, I'm not making any request for any anything except maybe the sit down with, with Matt on the on the C O E budget, that's it. The what? On the continuing education budget. <coughs> what does for, that mean? For for the courses, for continuing education courses, uh, the in your proposed budget it has fifty five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Sitting down with Matt's not going to do any good. The decision will be made here. So no, I understand that, but I think I'm just just doing it to clarify. I'm not. He's not going to tell me what I can and cannot do. I understand the court does that, but since you're putting it that way, let me just explain it to you. Then, fifty-five hundred dollars was provided for a conference uh, that is totally reimbursable. But the remaining conferences that were included in the proposed budget, Judge. Uh, were not included, and the event cost was not included. And I think that was about seventy eight hundred dollars. So they're eighty seven hundred, eighty seven eight hundred. I'm not remember. I don't remember the exact amount. But it's all laid out in the proposed budget. Okay. So what are you asking for, Judge? The seventy eight or the eighty seven? The, 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 the difference. I don't have it in front of me, uh, Judge. But it's the, the difference in what um, since. Is there any funds that and, and all those are reimbursable. I believe most of those conferences, Judge, are reimbursable, almost 80% of those. So why would we have more money if they're going to be reimbursed? I don't get it. Am I missing something? One of them is a big one, $5,500, and that's where I was awarded. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So if, that one, if the 5500 is going to be awarded to you and it's reimbursed, then after you're saying after the 5500 you still have another 7800 I don't remember the cost. Or 8700 one so or the other. One so or the other. And at some you're... point through, throughout the year, they're reimbursed. Uh, I think I can make it. I think I can make it throughout the year. So um, why would I set up more money if we're going to be reimbursed? Because we have to incur the cost before we get reimbursed. Okay. So you would want to incur the 7800 or 8700 and then get reimbursed? Yes. Well, and, and I agree with you because at some point we may not we may have money there to incur the cost. That's what I'm trying to tell well, you. Well, I wouldn't mind setting aside eighty-seven hundred dollars if we were sure we were going to get reimbursed. Yeah, and it's all sub, it's all reimbursable. reimbursable. We don't know. Yes, <laughs> 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 we get reimbursed. Okay. 
the conferences that I've listed on the on, the, on your proposed budget, Judge, mm -hmm. are reimbursed. Okay. So I, I guess we need to make sure that there's enough money there so he can go that way we can get a check back. So how do I do that? Do we set eighty-seven hundred dollars there? Do we? What would be the simplest way to do it? That you would the be happy with. Way, the simplest way would be to appropriate the funds. It would be okay. one appropriate funds. If it's reimbursable, there would be no reason why it couldn't be. We just set up a uh, ARAP, something like that. Okay. We could do something like that, but that's a little more complicated. I don't know if you want to go that route. It's not. When it comes to putting this stuff, we, we're going to give you the numbers, but you need to tell me what would be the simplest way for you to make sure that these numbers that we're, that we're saying to put in there, how are you going to manage it? What's the simplest way for you to manage that? For us? Yes. Just give them the funds. That's the simplest way. Well, that to me, that, that's all I've got. Okay. I mean, to me, if we're going to get reimbursed and we know we're going to get reimbursed, then <clears throat> whatever dollar we put there really doesn't matter as long as it's there. That way we get our money back. And we have to follow up on the reimbursement. Yes, sir. Yeah, and at the point that we don't follow up on our reimbursement, then the following year we keep track and it, it goes away. And that's why when there's an ARAP mechanism, that's how you track the reimbursement. If you just give the funds <laughs> and the reimbursement okay. come in, you don't know. I'm going to ask the question again. Which okay. way would you feel more comfortable? All right, we can just increase this at a okay. as as long The 8700 as long as we're increase the 5500 to 8700 and that way they're not going to be at the same time, so we should get our money back to replenish that, and then we move on. And it could be judged that I may not need the full amount. Okay. At some no, point, it's, it's, because it's, it's good, but to me, you know, I'd recommend we do the 8700 as long as we're getting reimbursed. Somebody want to make a motion of that? I'll make a motion. I'll second that. Uh, uh, Commissioner, okay. You got it. Commissioner Flores Commissioner made the motion. Commissioner <coughs> Vasquez seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Move it to 8700. Aye. 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 Four zero. As long as it's as, as long as we keep track that we're getting reimbursed. If, yes, sir, if we, we don't get reimbursed, then the next year is going to be a nightmare. No, sir, we understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. That, that's clear. Not a problem. We're good? We're good. Oh, man, that's awesome. Not a problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank, thank you for your time. No, no, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Judge. Don't have a great day. I've got a doctor's appointment with me, so I've got to get going. My yeah, excuse. Take care. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank, thank you very care. much. Okay. Uh, Matt. Sir. You got anything else? And we went through everybody's deal. Mm -hmm. And if there's only uh, JP2, JP3, and the 83rd, 63rd. Okay. Is there anything else that you wanted to cover? Um, your message? My, my deal would be is just uh, if we can get to support the numbers on the capital. Because uh, we don't have the bottom numbers that you showed. Mm -hmm. If we can get into the court, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Um, did you want to cover when it comes all together? No. No? I'm going to do it on 21st because we're going to have a budget hearing and everything instead of doing it twice with the four bucks. Does that work? That'll That's work. okay with you. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Anybody got, else got any questions? We're okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a, a question on the report that you gave here. Mm -hmm. It shows office personnel uh, 3 and precinct 1, 5 and 2. Mm -hmm. Four in precinct three and three in precinct four. Mm -hmm. Are you including the judges? The elected officials, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Judge, I'm sorry. Anybody else? Is that okay? Aaron, your boy okay? <laughs> yes, this is good. We'll be all right. See? We'll take uh, commissioners? <laughs> We're good. Uh, budget workshop. Nobody else has any questions. We're done. We'll proceed with the rest of the meeting. Uh, there is. Let me get my other book. I'm sorry. The budget salaries that are there are the budgeted salaries for elected officials that are in here with uh, with the pay raises and their auto allowances. Everything. We if we take a vote right now. We will take the vote now. We have the public hearing first. I'd like to set the public hearing for. Uh, public hearing first. Well, let's do this. Set the public. Okay, that'll work. Uh, we need to set the salaries on the twenty on the on Sunday. Yeah. Right. We need to post the salaries on Sunday. Can't see you look all blue. The salaries on Sunday. We'll post the salaries on Sunday. 
if that's what you'd like to do. Yeah. I would like to. That way on the 21st we can actually have just finish this up. Make a motion. Okay. I have uh, Martin just made the motion to do that. Uh, set the salaries and or publish the salaries. Martin made the motion. Commissioner Vasquez seconded. Uh, I would uh, need a date also for the public hearing. I think we can hit all our dates and have the public hearing on the 21st, which is our next commissioner's court meeting. Okay. I have a motion to set the public hearing for next week. Or, I'm sorry, next meeting, which would be the 21st. I need a motion. I need a motion. Please. Motion. Commissioner Vasquez. Second. Second. Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Uh, four Commissioner? Four zero. Four zero. Uh, four zero. Four zero. <laughs> hey, both. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both like you never miss. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, he's always making motions, so even this meeting's been a little bit different. <laughs> Commissioner's comments? Uh, no. Uh, judges, comments. Thank y'all so much. Uh, we did carry a little bit of money over, and looks like we're going to carry a little bit of money over. Just to, and, and it's going to help us get, get to the next year. Uh, we have the SC Ranch that we're looking at. Uh, there's going to be no tax rate increase uh, for that. So I want to thank y'all for everything that y'all did. Uh, Matt, Aaron, thank y'all. And the court. It's, it's been really impressive that uh, you know, we're out there. They let us, we're going to jump out on a $6 million project with no tax rate increase. It's amazing. So uh, with that, y'all don't mind. This morning is adjourned. Thank y'all. Other records.